I think even top last year, it was just huge. Yes, it was, Keith. Wahama was trying to keep their win streak going to 17, and Trimble was looking for, to get that revenge from last year's game when they fell to Wahama in week two last year. You know what? There was some sportsmanship going on before they go head to head on the gridiron. Trimble with the ball first. Jacob Coons with the handoff drags half of Wahama's team to a first down. And soon after that, Connor Stanley pitches the ball out to Coons, who's standing where else in the end zone. Trimble goes out 6 0. Ooh. Next possession, Hunter Bradley quickly hands it off to Kane Roush, who gets thrown out of bounds. They can't convert and are forced to punt. Later on in the first quarter, Trimble's Justice Jenkins takes the handoff from Stanley, goes out to the side, breaks to the tackle here, breaks the tackle there for a 27-yard run. Same possession, fourth and 10. Stanley, with a little play action, rolls out to find Coons again, 10 yards down the field for a first down, but a few plays, they turn it, it over on downs. Halfway through the second quarter, Stanley looks for a man downfield, would toss it to Wahamas. QB Bradley. I don't think he wanted to do that, Keith. I think he can play both sides of the ball, though. Yes, he could, but Wahama couldn't convert, though. And their next possession, Bradley to Roush, would run it in up the field for a 13-yard gain. Unfortunately, Bradley, trying to find a hole, loses the ball. In the process, Trimble's Micah Couch recovers it, and Trimble would capitalize. Stanley rolls out and slides past everyone straight into the end zone with 13 seconds left in the first half. They go up 12 to 0. The White Falcons are looking for their locker room. They have to regroup after that one, Keith. Mm -hmm. Wahama would get the ball to start off the third. Roush again finding a hole to grab another first down, leading to this. Bradley will sneak it in into the end zone. One yard out for Wahama's first TD of the night. But unfortunately, that would be their last as Wahama falls the Trimble 12 to 7. So it sounded like a back and forth kind of game, but defense really showed to be the uh, the key for them because a lot of us thought that offense, both of these offenses were really putting up points last week, but I hate to say, but you chose Wahama to win this game. So what really surprised you from the White Falcons and the Trembles uh, from the Tomcats this, this week? Well, you know what, Keith? Bradley, his passing game, let's just say, was not very good. He was four for seven. He only threw the ball seven times, only 33 yards. They need to pick that game up. Well, passing can definitely be a huge key to having a balanced offensive attack, but Trimble finally gets that W. They get over the hump. They finally beat Wahama. That's their first league loss ever in TVC Hawking play. That's definitely going to go down in history. What really stood out for you for the Tomcats? Yeah, they did get that revenge, and they had 13 first downs. They use, utilize everyone on the field. Their running game was unbelievable as well as their passing game. They just had a stellar, stellar game.